So this is activity number four in our DaVinci Resolve uh, workshop series. Uh, and this one will cover detaching audio from a video clip. So make sure you've downloaded the GOAT video at the top of the handout. Uh, the next thing you do after you open DaVinci Resolve is to click on New Project in the bottom middle. And I'll call this Audio Detach. The first thing we do is we click on the media tab on the bottom left of the screen. I'll click on the folder where I've downloaded my GOAT video and then I'll drag it down into the media clip window at the bottom and I click change to accept the updating the frame rate for the video clip. The next thing we do is click on the cut tab at the bottom just to the right of the media tab. And then we will grab the GOAT video clip and put it in the timeline. There we go. You'll notice here in the timeline that the top three quarters of the, uh, the timeline shows the video and then the bottom quarter or so shows the audio wave for the file. In order to uh, modify the audio wave of the file, we have to click on the Edit tab at the bottom, which is just to the right of the Cut tab. And this separates the video from the audio so that you can work on them uh, separately. So let's say we want to edit this audio at the beginning of the clip where it's quite loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Start the running. cursor over here. I'm going to click on the cut or the blade tool and then I'm going to click on the cursor and that will cut uh, the audio there. Next thing I do, I'm going to click back on the selection mode and then what I can do in the audio here is I can grab this faint gray line and drag it down and you can see it's lowering the volume and you can see I can move it raise the volume or lower it but I'm gonna lower it right down and then I'm gonna move the cursor Better back run. here and let's see how loud it is this Better time running. so now it's not quite loud at all so it's much softer than it was before the other thing we can do is uh, if we click back on the Edit tab here, we can put in uh, transitions. So if I click on the Transition button here, I can drag and drop the transition there. And if we go back into Edit Mode, we see that transition happens for both the, the audio and the video. Another thing that we can do here, if I select uh, this tab here we get a little cursor up here and this allows us to fade in uh, the audio so it isn't a very uh, choppy transition and you can grab that dot oops, and move it around to change the shape of the fade in so this is actually a pretty uh, pretty useful useful tool for managing how the audio transition fades in or out you can use this on the fade out portion as well. You can also separate the audio from the, uh, the video file by right mouse clicking on it and then uncheck the link clips here. So now I, if I move the, sorry, if I just select the audio I can change it so it's out of sync with the video or you could move it back into sync with the video. If you want to do just very uh, small changes in that, you on a Mac you hold down on the option on a Windows Alt keyboard and then you can, holding that down, and then you can use the arrow keys to nudge the audio to the right or left. So if you've got audio and video that are out of sync, just by a little bit, using the holding down the option button and then pressing the arrow keys can help you get it back into sync. So removing the audio is really useful if the audio is overpowered, uh, overpowered by background noise. So you can either remove the audio or lower it down significantly. Or if you want to do a commentary track over the video. And you can have multiple audio tracks overlaid to create interesting effects. So for example, someone uh, was a member of a choir and each choir member recorded their audio and then she mixed the audio and the video together uh, in DaVinci Resolve in a very uh, cool way. The other thing is you, if you have undesired or broken audio, you can just remove it and then replace it with uh, other audio. 
So congratulations, you are finished this last uh, DaVinci Resolve activity.